Hello everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back to Razor County. As as always, we're back in our little tiny world. Um nothing has changed since yesterday. Um though I do apologize that we didn't have mouthwash today. Um I had an interview at one o'clock, so I could not do mouthwash. <laughs> So, just got home about an hour ago, um, and then I am here now. So, luckily, we are going to do something that I thought I was going to do yesterday, was work on Stratport and work on um, effectively managing our transit for the city. Um, so, why don't we get into that? And talk about it for a minute or two. Um, so, Aspen and um, Sunset Beach are fairly old at this point. They've been with us for quite some time. And I think it's a little... It's, it's time to do a little refresh on transit. So, if we look at our transit lines, you can see they're not very well planned out. Especially with how um, transit has changed since we built Strawport, and especially how busy um, our train stations have become. So, one of the first things I want to do to think about changing this is use a ferry line to bring people over to the city. Um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna do that one of two ways. One way, which will also be a big advantage to get people into the city, is I'm going to build a um, harbor over here, a cruise ship terminal. And that will really, really allow us to go forward and set a new precedent for the rest of the city. Um, I'm thinking that I want to copy this. So I'm gonna. What I just did was I took the perpendicular angle from this, or the parallel angle from that. So. If I use our terrain, I can start to make a big flat platform to me to bleh, to build a cruise ship terminal on. We will touch the buses um, after we get this done. Um, I don't want to redraw the bus lines until we actually see some people using the ferry lines. Um, because then everything will be about moving people to the ferry lines. Um, so for right now, we're not going to bother with that just yet. Um, I do want to make this into a new transit hub um, so we're going to have some big old transit buildings um, be part of this project um, I need to draw a road There we go. So this will be where we build our transit center. And I want to level this off with the stuff up here. There we go. Um, I do unfortunately also want to get rid of all these trees. Because they're just going to get in my way. Actually, I think I want to use one of the other key walls. Um, you would imagine this would be a newer development. 
So I think I'm going to use these. Yeah. Yeah, I like the look of that. Um, you would imagine this would be a newer development. Um, maybe when Stropport started to get big and started redoing its... Um, its grid network and building out the rest of the city. Um, this would also be a push from the municipality to have better connectivity. So this may be a super politicized choice that Razor County would have had to make. Um, it would have upset a lot of people because rich people are stupid. Um, so let's fix the water. There we go. As the whole bay floods to try to fill this, <laughs> fill this area of water. Um, I'm thinking I want to do one of these next to each other. So two of them right here. Connected with a road, but I also want to put down... Ooh, I can use the big one. Hold on. Ferry and bus exchange stop. Aha! Uh -huh. Does this have two spots for ferries? Hold on. It does. Okay. So these three will be the main part of this development. And I want to move this down a little bit. Is that better? Yeah. There we go. So that's the beginning of this. Um, <clears throat> I want this to be very, very well thought out. And I want this to be very, very nice. So I'm going to unlock these segments from each other. There we go. Just a one way, like I usually do. Um, and I think one of the last big things I want here is a train station. And I think that train station may either be that one or... This one. I'm thinking this one. I think I like this one the most. Yeah. I want to do something fairly close to the end of this area. But I can also... Ooh, I can make this... entirely a pedestrian area. Wait a minute. So if I... Hold on.
There we go. Um, if I make all this one way. Put this here. Or maybe... No, I want it right up against the... I can make this into a pedestrian district. So I was not originally planning on doing that here, but now that I've thought about it, I really want to do it. Um, I want to connect a high speed line via the, via the curve tool between here and here. Whoa. There. Make it fairly a wide berth. There we go. So this gives us connectivity straight to Central Station, which is really good for arriving transit. Um, metro links, I will have to put another metro down. Um, actually, I can have this one serve serve the metro. Yeah. Mm. Underground. Ah! I meant tunnel, not ground. Whoops. Yikes. I did not mean to do that. There we go. So, red line can extend all the way up here. And I'll re add the stops here. Okay. That is doing us good so far. I think I want to place down one or two of our skyscraper assets over here. Um. My choice is either these two, like together as a complex, or the bank building. So I want one of these to be over here. I don't think it's the bank building. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm feeling those right now. Um, we will come back to that in a second, though. I'm going to start filling these grids in. Oh, my God. There we go. So we have got a little tiny portion of City Grid, which I will continue to flesh out for just another block or two. Yeah, that's fine by me. Okay. So this will be a highly pedestrianized walkable area. Um, I want just this outside road to be the road that people drive on. Um, and that, saying that, I will make this bus lanes. So this area 
solely will be transit access. Um, or I can do something like this. Let's see which one I think I like better. So can a bus turn around in this area? Here to one of these to back here. Oh, it can. Okay. So I don't need any of the rest of this to be transit access. Um, what are the rest of our one-way roads? One-way road with grass? I think I actually might like that more compared to having two-way. Does it still work if I do it like this? So here to here, back to here. Yep. Sweet. So I can have this be the only way cars can come in and out of this area is these two slow roads. Um... So everyone will want to take transit. And I will draw this as a pedestrian area. Hey, Chris. Um, just, just looked at my other screen. How you doing? Um, I want this to be Harbor District. I can't spell. So this is the Harbor District. Um... We Okay, yep, I figured out what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, I like that. That's cool. Um So, do do I want time is it for you it's it's already almost six o'clock in the after or six o'clock in the evening for me oh I didn't mean to do that one hold on you're you're waking up god I wish I could sleep in that long yeah <laughs> Um, I also want to make this road tree-lined with a bike path. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. But here we go. Here we go. Are there any lane shit that's happening at these intersections? No. What is killing these trees? Is there pollution here? No? Nope, they're just dead for some reason. Okay. I will put them... I'll make this grass then. How about that? You happy with that one? That was weird. Um, so this is bike pathed up. And it meets with another bike path. <laughs> I mean, that's one that is definitely one way to look at it. Um, <laughs> lucky. Good lord. So I want this to happen. Whoop, that's the wrong.
Hmm. Hold on. Let me draw this one more. Boom. There we go. Okay, so that's my thought with that. Yeah. And then I'll figure this out. Um, I think that I want the pedestrian area to keep coming over. So I'm going to build this out. Uh, <laughs> classic. Classic, Chris. Um. Ah, I just deleted just a random building. I apologize. I did not mean to do that. Um. I think. I think I know what I want to do with this outside road. Um, I want to... Ooh. You're getting close to the end then. What is... Which road goes which way here? That way goes that one. So I want to do... This, here, this, to that one, and then he, whoop, here to here, okay. So we've finally gotten these roads up to this highway, or this, this four-lane road. No. Yeah, I guess that works. I'll fill this with housing. I do think, just like over there, I want to upgrade this to... No, bike... Bike, yes. Bike path. No parking on this street at all. It's what we want. And how many more blocks can I fit in here? Let's figure that out. And this here. No, that's way too close.
Um, we'll see about that one. Okay, we have more city grid now. <laughs> um, and now we have this road that goes all the way around. So this is our one of our main roads that cuts through downtown. Um, mm, ow. So what I meant I was saying was that I wanted to do a big pedestrian road. Um, preferably one with this in the middle. We'll go back here, bring a couple of these over. No. Um, I can continue to terraform this, so I actually change my mind a little bit. Absolutely nothing will cause me to change my mind. So if you imagine this is a recently re-pedestrianized area um this whole section could have been city blocks that have just recently been turned into um ooh I like the cobblestone over here actually we haven't used the cobblestone other than um we haven't actually used the cobblestone at all I think I may opt for the cobblestone ones hold on let's see what I think about usually I think everyone in the community has agreed that blue stone is the best stone um what does this look like ooh oh yeah that's in that's staying yep 100% and then I got to get the the cobblestone bus path, yes. Yes. Sweet. This is going to be a huge district. Yeah, this is going to be a huge district. This is not downtown, though. So we're still going to have a lot of buildings here, but this is not downtown. However, I just thought, you know what we can implement here? The sustainable buildings um, policy. We can 100% do that. Because that is not something we've done in the city yet. Yeah. 
What? Stop, thank you. Good lord. Um, I do need to draw some paths for people to get onto here. I think I'll do those at the cross streets. So people can actually walk on this and use it. Because otherwise they won't actually walk on this because um, they have no way to get onto it. So we may see some people walk on this, probably not. Um, oh, we could have the buses come through here. Wait a minute, that changes things. Hold on a moment. Actually, I can finish terrain flattening this. Okay. I decidedly like that. Yeah. That's fine, me. Um, and then this can go around, serves most of this area. Um, this can meet up with this road, just barely at least, but we'll try. This may be a funky in intersection. Ooh. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. this may be a funky intersection. Hold on, wait a minute, I can just do this, node controller it, and boop, and then take this and shift it back straight. There we go, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's something. Uh, we'll figure that out. <gasps> That'll be something for us to deal with in the future. Um, as far as where I want to put the... the stuff, the service buildings. Um, I'm thinking big pedestrian access, which I want on a side street, I guess. And a garbage. No, a cargo service point. Hmm. Can this go up like just... Oh, it's like just too tall for me to actually think I can get over... Get away with it. Um. Okay, what I'll do is I'll draw it right here. This can go here. And then... 
this can go here. Yeah. Yeah, these two are together. Okay, that about does it for me in terms of what I think this pedestrian area should have. Um, of course, we got to do parks and stuff, so that'll be the next thing we do. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's something that particularly everyone goes through. Um, <laughs> um, as far as I am, I would love to have a, a, um, cat but new um street music yes please is that something that I could have done over here is this a lot of commercial or no it's mostly residential okay <clears throat> I want housing to be is this applying itself to the district I want this to be self-sufficient buildings. I want the offices to be regular ass offices. Um, commercial can be organic and local produce. We'll see. We'll see about that one. I think that's it, yeah. Okay, let us start to... Oh, hydration! Hydration! I almost forgot it! I almost forgot it! I saw it on the subway. I almost, almost missed... I almost started playing the game and zoning, and then no one would have had water. I caught myself. Look at me go, Mom. I'm catching myself not putting down water pipes. I'm the best city planner. <laughs> and the 2022 City Planner Awards goes to me. People's bones are just too brittle. They just don't have enough water. And their bones decay. And then I eat them. Hey, you don't know. I may have a good time with the cat. You don't know. <laughs> um, most of this I want to be residential. The little smattering of commercial mixed into it.
There's no education up here, and there's actually no power. That's the, one of the main things I just noticed we still don't have either. Um, fire coverage. I want to put a fire station down. Oh, I can use this. Oh, it's tiny. This is going to cover the whole of... Yeah. Um, police. We should place a police station down just for safety. And that would probably be up here by the port. Actually, I should put it right next to the train station. <laughs> Hospital. Do I want to put... No, that looks too ugly to be up here. I don't particularly mind putting this one down. I also could, put, could just put like a... That, but that doesn't have enough capacity. Uh, for right now, we'll see. We'll just put a little one right there. This is what I was looking for. Hell yeah. Woo baby, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, seeing as this is mostly or almost entirely reclaimed land, um, you may see uh, something along the lines of a district like this being done when a storm comes through. So, let's say a hurricane came through and absolutely wrecked downtown and more specifically Harbor District um you would definitely definitely see um a situation where a rail authority would build um transit out or it would a uh, rail authority a uh, city damn a city would take that opportunity to restructure a district like this so if most of the buildings were torn down in this situation and um a giant portion of the streets were destroyed flooded out all of that you would re you would very much see a situation like this um where a new district would be redone like this completely pedestrianized um now it's all modern self-sufficient buildings so yeah that this is what we're going we're looking for i do want to make a train line so i want to draw a train line from here up to our new um station and I think yeah the trains up here so I want this to be harbor line and I want to use the airport express I want to make this green I guess yeah that's what I'm talking about no, it's the Airport Express. Why am I doing the Airport Express? Um, bullet Train, I guess, maybe? Come on, spawn me Bullet Train. There. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm on board with that. That's cool. Is it noisy? Oh, it's very noisy. 
Yeah, this is very noisy. We can look at putting some of our wonders down here. Um, definitely, definitely want to place the mocha. Um, actually, I want to put it right prominent on the water. Yes. Now we've treated this like um, Sydney. 100%. Um, oh, and fairy. That was the whole reason why we did this. Um... So this fairy line Hmm I know, right? I'm just generating a fairy. Create a new line between here and here. There we go. We've got a line across the water. And I want to take into consideration some of our plans. Now, we want prefer fairies. Um, ooh. Um, we want to take into consideration prefer fairies, but that does give us an up an uptick in um our transit cost. So let's look at the budget. We are making eleven thousand dollars a week in transit. We are spending $60,000 in transit. Um, that means we are subsidizing a large portion of our transit cost. Um, and what are we making off of what? We're making the most off of bus fares, of all things. Bus fares and actually Metro and bus are right at the same. Um, train is actually also expensive or no that's what we're making the most money. we're making the most money off of buses metro and trains um what are we spending the most on probably buses no we're spending the most on trains and ships train ships planes metro bus tram hmm And then we barely have anything in postage. Or in post, post offices. Um, you're still complaining about workers. Whatever. So how many riders a day is the red line seeing now? Red line seeing 180. How many people is this served? Oh, it seems to be serving a good amount of people. And some people are actually taking the train now. Which means we're actually moving people. Which is actually really good. Um, I think I want to zone a little bit more. Definitely a little bit more. Definitely a bit. There is no education. I just realized that. Hold on. So, school. 
high school. God, this thing's fucking huge. You would want this right next to transit. So why don't we put this here and we'll put this right here. So that should cover us. Yeah, that should cover us for both of these. Um, no, that doesn't make any sense at all. Why would you have it over by the... It's nice to have it by the train station, but it's also out of the way for the people who live here. So we're not catering... Doing doing what we just did is not catering to our citizens that live in this district. It's catering to um, commuters. So that was a bad play. Um, I want to put a park here. Playground, would that work? Kind of, not really. And then can I fit a volleyball? Ooh. Not really. Hold on. That's... I'd survive with that. I think that's actually better. There we go. And then I can put another one down. Maybe. Mm -mm. I just want the green space, so I'm going to fill this with trees. Whoa. Not what I wanted to do. There we go. There we go. Green space. So we're trying to pe move people in as good as we can. Oh, my headset just died. Hold on. I cannot hear anything. I, I was like, why'd the music stop? And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> my headset just died. Hold on, I'm plugging it in. Ugh. There we go. Can I hear anything now? No. Da 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 da. McDonald's. Hey, okay, works. So while I leave this to grow for a little bit, um, to give this time, this does not need a traffic light. That does not need a traffic light. Neither does this, nor does that. Yeah, pedestrian roads don't need traffic lights. Ooh, lots of people using this. Oh, it's probably people from leaving here? People are leaving the city this way. Are they tourists or are they people that actually live here? Oh, people are walking here. You are a... Going to work. You're a manager at the harbor. Cool. Okay. <laughs> this has... Return trip has 38. Leaving trip. About the same, but a shift just emptied. What other monuments can we put over here? Sea and skyscraper, no. Um, the statue of Colossus. Hell yeah. 
Um, I want this in like a really regal spot right here. Boom. That's cool. You're within the pedestrian area. Yes, you are. Is that what you wanted? Thank you. Um, Statue Colossus. We've Aquarium. That would 100% be something we put over here. Aquarium can go right. Thomp. Perfect. <laughs> I think this whole waterfront over here. So this area, not around the financial district, but down here is going to be all big, unique buildings. So this is where we're going to put the um, Science Center and the Expo Center. Um, also, ooh, Observation Tower. Get a good view over the city. Hell yeah. You'd be able to see, because none of these will actually be like high rises. So you'd be able to see this way and across to Aspen. I'm gonna ban high rises. Hold on. High rise ban. Where? High rise ban. So none of these should be high rises. Um, Opera House? Would I put this over here by the aquarium? Yeah? Oh no, these should be next to each other. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's move. Wait a minute. I know what I need to do. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Um, nothing there. Transport tower we still haven't put down yet. I'll probably put it down in um, Razor Edge. What the hell? No. What are you? Museum of Postmodern Art. Oh. It's kind of cool. Let's put this over here. <laughs> That's cool. It's actually really cool. Um, I think that this works well in this district because this is not the um, walkable district. Or this is not the wall-to-wall -wall district. Um, so this would fit here because it stands out. If I put it in the wall-to-wall um, -wall district, it would just look all the same because, you know of the patterns because all of these all have their own you know designs stuff like this. so it wouldn't really stand it like this like this is the residential zone landmark and it literally is just a apartment building I think, hold on, I want to pause this and take this away. I want to make this different from this.
I want this to go all the way across. This will be West Harbor, West, no, West, West Waterfront and East Waterfront. And I want to take away I need to make a hole. Hold on. I'm going to take away that. I want to put this in place here. I want to put leisure here and take away that there. And then redraw this. Okay. So what I just did is I took harbor, I took the waterfront, cut it in half, and turned the east half into um, pretty much the same thing. But what I did was take away, um, oh, Starport went over there, I guess. Um, I took away the organic and local produce from um, where the pedestrian district was so that it would be leisure on this side because this is by all the tourist stuff. So I want this to be leisure type commercial. I know it's going to be louder and I know it's going to be not as nice. Um, for our, our people at least, um, but it's going to be good for tourism, which is what we want. There we go. I like that, especially with the with this um, viewing tower. That is gonna make this area look really, really nice. Um, and I think I want to do just a small little thing around it. There we go. Nothing special, just to block off me zoning it. Two hundred sixty-two people. How much? Are, how many people are in you? Nope. Forty-seven. Okay, so it's coming in with forty-seven. Hmm. So most people are going away from here because they're tourists. So most people are leaving this district and then leaving a different way, maybe. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay I'm liking this so far I'm really really liking this um I don't know what to put here other than like a park or something um, I could just cram more development in here. Um, or I could put down an asset that I don't know that I like. 
Construction International Airport. No. Statue of Liberty. No. <laughs> Transport Tower? Oh. Oh. Huh. That works almost perfectly, although it is way too white. Can I tone this down a little bit? Ooh. Hold on. I think I like that. I think that's staying. Yep, that's staying there. I think I'll just fill the rest of this with trees. I apparently I will not. Okay. This is... Oh. Hello. I mean, I wasn't originally thinking that I'd want international trains, so I think I'm going to turn this off and only use it for local trains. Because that just doesn't make sense to me to have... Um, the that be used by inner city trains when our central station is right here. 1,300 people use this station and 1,200 use this one. Good lord. There are so many people transiting in our city. So now that we've set this up and now that I'm letting this stay here for a while... Um, and I'm letting all these areas fill in. I'm going to take the opportunity and go over here and let's talk about Aspen's transit. So the this line sees no people. These two that I did last time, the Air Aspen airport arrivals and departures, I'm getting rid of both of these lines because they are just absolutely useless um yeah there is just no reason to have that excuse me why are you doing this why is this bus deciding that this is the fastest way to go Moron bus. Why is this the way that you're deciding to go? No. Thank you. Christ. the only way to teach the game how to not do what I don't want it to do. Let's <laughs> make the speed slower. I should probably set it to 20 so people actually like are legitimately going a slower speed. That is insanity. There. Now it's fixed. I think 
that we have we definitely have a lot of lines that need help um so this i'm fairly certain that these lines are over here so this is yeah This is... Minto North and South, and this one is where? That one is... Okay. I'm just going over our transit, see if I can find anything. I wish I could like sort these into like tabs. Like have like one for Aspen, one for Sunset Beach. Like I really thought, I think I could, I would want to do that. So let's look at where our transit is now and then see what we can do about it. Where is this one? Oh. Okay, I think the first one that I can do is... I'm gonna pause the game. Okay, my logic for what I'm going to do is this line so the yellow line that we have going from Aspen over to the harbor over here carries a lot of people, but there's very little reason that this exists while Hickory line that goes down our public, our walkable district is still here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this yellow line just go from the harbor to this metro stop. And then the Hickory line will be the yellow line that carries the, the, um, all the way across. Boop. So it's going to make a lot of people unhappy. And I understand that. Well, I think I just deleted the whole last line. Hold on. Is it gone? Yes, it is gone. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. But the Hickory line, I want to take this and add a stop here. Why the fuck is this going on the highway? Fuck off. There.
Okay. And then we can draw a new one that goes here, straight to over here. And back. Straight to here. And back. And then... Can name this... Sunset Harbor. And we'll make it the biggest one we've got. We'll make it yellow, because that's what the old line was, was yellow. And then Hickory Boulevard will now be... Um... Aspen... University. Because that goes all the way up to the University Station. No, that's a... No, I do not want to do that. Hold on. That's why I want to do. Because <laughs> that's a very narrow road there, and I did that on purpose. Um... Sunset Harbor. Haha, <laughs> it's the name of the DLC. Sunset Terminal. So this goes straight across the whole city. Great. No, Midtown North. Where is this red line? This red line is just taking people to the marina. Which, in and of itself, is fine. But I want to move some of these stops. So I will come back with a different bus line to replace these. that will stop here and that'll allow people to go across oh my god look at how polluted the sky is I just noticed that good lord um I will delete the forest station, which is like our main bus line, and I will delete both of the Lafayette loops. Okay, this is where the fun stuff begins. I want to bring a bus directly to Lafayette. from the train station. Just straight shot here. No if ands, or buts. Why is that the best way that you're deciding to go?
Here we go. Really? Why is it the way that you're deciding you want to go? I just, I just don't understand this game's pathing. It just makes no sense to me. Absolutely no sense. There. That's exactly what I wanted. <clears throat> so that's one transit line that comes in and out. And then we need to get people across the city left and right and up and down. <clears throat> 